a new paradigm implies improvement, so why are so many people opposed to the adoption of a new paradigm? That's the nature of paradigms, that a paradigm is a significant, significant change in the way that we think, and that is a difficult thing for most people to do. And so once we've become competent, it's very difficult to then change for a new thing. And it's, so we need to constantly be asking ourselves, are we part of what's moving us forward or are we part of what is holding us back? So in my opinion, what is the next new programming paradigm? I believe that the next paradigm is asynchronous distributed programming or, or asynchronous message passing. This is not a new idea. It's been around for a long, long time. And we're seeing aspects of it that are already in wide deployment. But the whole thing is still being resisted. And so I think eventually we're going to need new protocols, maybe new operating systems, new progr programming languages, which allow us to exploit this. Tell you something about the book I'm writing. So I'm working on a new book. It, the tentative title is How JavaScript Works. It's going to be revealing stuff about JavaScript that I think most people don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be a useful book. It's going to be much bigger than my previous book, um, and I hope that people like it. What do I think of the Code Motion Conference right now? Uh, it's too early to ask. I, I just did a keynote. It was the first big keynote of the day, so I haven't really seen anything else. Uh, the, the crowd was really, really good. Uh, the room was filled, people were attentive, they laughed at the right places, so that was all very good. <laughs> it's, again, it's too early for that.